And it's that time of year again. Applications are now open for the CMCC, Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College class of 2028. So exciting. My name is Alina. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am currently a second year student at CMCC and I'm actually in the middle of my Mon 6 exams. Anyways, I wanted to make a little video because I got, I saw the post on Instagram that the applications are now open for the incoming first years of next year of 2024, which is so exciting. And I thought I would just talk a bit about the application process. Um, this won't really be more so, this is not going to be about like how I prepared for my interview. I actually made a video on how I prepared for my interview that you could watch on my channel. I'll link it down below and up there if I remember. Uh, this is just going to be like an overview of the application process. Just a little chat, you know? So, the applications are now open. The deadline is November 30th. And, um... As I kind of go through this, be sure to reference the actual CMCC website. This is just from what I have read. And the application consists of um, two, three, two main components. So right now what you're going to need to submit is one, a resume, a full resume, your job experience, your volunteer, all that kind of stuff. So you're going to submit that by November 30th, in addition to your official transcript. So those are going to be sent to the school as well. So after you have submitted that, you are going to get access to this portal um, where you're going to input all of the grades um, and courses that you've taken up till now. And I'm pretty sure you will get a link sent for that. Again, be sure to check on that with the CMCC website. Just double check everything. And yeah. So essentially I did this exact same process and when I was going through it, I kind of like didn't have any guidance. I didn't really know any upper year students. I knew one girl that was two years ahead of me that I like asked her a few questions here and there, but I didn't know her too well. So I thought I would make these kind of videos just to have someone kind of tell you or like, so you kind of know what's going on. Anyways. So yes, you're going to get all that stuff in. Some stuff I didn't know when I was applying is CMCC, CMCC takes your last 30 courses from the time you apply. So for me, being, when I applied, I was in fourth year undergrad. That included half of my first year of undergrad. So it was from the second half of first year all the way up to the um, first half of fourth year. Those were the 30 courses and they go back in reverse chronological order. So basically all the courses I had taken in fourth year term one and then third year term two, third year term one, all the way back with a little asterisk there, all your graded courses. So it needs to be a graded course. I actually took one pass fail course in fourth year once I found out, oh, you could take pass fail courses and um, not have them count towards your GPA, but still get credits as electives. Um, so I did take one of those and I didn't know, but that did not count towards my GPA. So that kind of went back one more and dug into my first year um, term one, if that makes sense. Which uh, wasn't a problem because they take your highest mark from um, that term. Like they took my highest mark from first year term one. They're not going to take your lowest mark or just the next one in your transcript. They're going to take the highest one. So... That is what kind of went on there. Again, this was from my experience. And yeah, I'm really excited for you guys. I made some other videos on my channel if you wanted to check those out as well, just so you can get a feel for what it's like to be a student at CMCC. All throughout my first year, I made a bunch of vlogs kind of going through the entire year studying with me, days in my life, working out at the gym, things like that, so you can get a feel for how it looks. I have an O week video as well from last year when I was in first year, as well as this year. I was a pod leader. I was one of the upper year students that kind of helped out with a week. So you can kind of get it from two different perspectives and a more recent perspective as well. I have this other video that I posted not too long ago, um, just reflecting back on my first year at CMCC and some of my favorite academic experiences. So those are all great videos to check out. And the reason I'm making these videos is because I wish I had some kind of resource going into CMCC. I was kind of going in blind. I knew I wanted to be a chiropractor, but you know, there was a lot of unknowns coming to a new brand new, like a new school, a new environment, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I kind of bridge that gap for you guys, make it a little bit more comfortable. And you can put any comments, any questions down below as well. I'll um, 
answer them as soon as I possibly can. Second year is very demanding. Um, so I'll try to get back to those as quick as possible. Or you can even send me a DM on Instagram. Um, I'll put my Instagram up right here. My fitness Instagram, uh, at Alina J Fitness. I'm kind of in the works of making a Cairo Instagram uh, in the very initial stages. I want it to be more so professional. So I don't mind taking my time with that because I'm only in second year. Anyways, so throughout the application process, again, deadline is going to be November 30th. And then December 15th is the deadline for inputting, I believe it is inputting all of your grades. Let me just double check. Okay, so I just double checked and December 15th is the last day for your official transcripts to be received by the school. And again, you can mail those in or you can do them by email or like online. I, I believe I did mine online at the time. And this is such an exciting time. Take it all in, work hard at it, of course, because your fourth year marks do still matter. And enjoy where you're at right now. Whether you are in undergrad or whether you are taking a year off, um, in the case that you are, you are like on a, a year off, just working or like whatever, they will then take your last 30 courses in reverse chronological order, including second year of your last, or second term of your last year. So yes, just things to think about. And, um, okay. Anyways, little side note, today is October 20th. That might not be a significant day for you, but for me and all second years, it was quite a significant day. Today was our neuroanatomy exam. The neuroanatomy course is, the, I feel like, in my in my perspective, um, it's like the hardest course in the program, the most dreaded course in the program. And I'm not gonna lie that the content was quite challenging, despite taking several neuroscience courses in the past and physi neurophysiology and that kind of stuff. It was quite challenging. And I just wanted to document this period in my life. I am so, proud of myself. I put in so much work. I studied quite efficiently. I really put in the hours and the energy into studying for that exam and I feel like it went so well. Anyways, that's just a little side note, something you can look forward to once you start the program. Anyways, I'm going to keep this video on the shorter side. Just wanted to make a video at the time of the applications. So again, feel free to send me any questions you have along the way. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. All the best with your application. After this application, um, you will get notified later on in the year um, if you get an interview spot. And then the interviews will be in 2024. But I believe around March, March time. And then admission decisions happen late spring, early summer, I believe. And again, you can check out my video, my decision reaction video when I got the email uh, for my admission. Anyways, very exciting time for you guys. I was just in your shoes not too long ago at all time flies. So yes, enjoy every moment of where you are at right now. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.